what's up beauties welcome back to my channel so i'm just gonna hop straight into this video right here um you see me just pouring in this boiling hot water i'm also gonna add to the water i'm gonna add my bw2 um powder bleach powder and i'm also going to add in my 40 volume developer so that we can go ahead and lift the color off of this black wig okay Now, before y'all ask me how many scoops did I use, girl, honestly, I don't even know. I honestly, when I'm doing bleach baths, I just eyeball it to the best of my ability. Same with the developer. I kind of go for like a dark, milky white color. Um, you just have kind of got to eyeball it. It also depends on what size um, tub or like if you're using it in the sink, like what size and how much water you're using as well. That's going to determine how much product you use. Um, you don't want to use too, too, too much water, but you don't want to have the wig, have it be more wig than water. You want to kind of have a balance between the both. Um, so I just kind of, um, you know, just eyeball it just to see how much um, developer and the um, powder that you want to add onto it. Now on to adding the wig. You want to make sure that you get this wig in there and saturate it as much as possible. You don't want no strand left unwet. You want everything to be wet and saturated as much as possible. Um, you don't really too much have to worry about the lace at this step because it's pretty much going to all get dyed. Um, but you want to make sure that you are saturating that wig as much as possible and leave it in there for as long as you can. I did leave the wig in there. I did let it sit. I put a little bit of aluminum foil on top of it so it can kind of um, cook in a sense. But I left this wig in there between an hour and an hour and a half. It, it just depends on your wig and the density. But yeah. So this is what the wig looks like once it has been sitting for about an hour and a half. With dyeing hair red from black, you don't have to lift it too much. Um, this is a perfect color because it's going to come out amazing. All right, now on to making my second batch of boiling hot water so we can go ahead and dye this wig red. I'm just free filling my basket up with the water and I'm also going to be using this Adore Crimson color. And I'm just going to empty all of its contents. I did use two bottles of this Adore. Um, you're just going to pretty much empty everything out into this tub as much as you can get out. Before you dip your wig into this water, girl, make sure that you stir it up. It's still content at the bottom of the bowl. You want to make sure that you're getting it all stirred up and ready to go because you don't want any clumps and lumps at the bottom and you're wondering why you have to use more product than you have to. Just make sure that you are stirring it in thoroughly before you dip your wig in this water, okay? When I do my watercolor method, I do dip it in little by little just to see how um, well the color takes. Right here, I'm just dipping the wig and really not trying to get the lace um, to dye because the light this is red dye and it will stain the lace. Especially if you have transparent and HD lace, it will stain the lace. Just letting you know. But yeah, I'm just making sure that I'm getting every strand of hair wet in this water pretty much so that it can all die evenly and it can come out as this pretty, 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 pretty red.
this is the color that came out it is so pretty and beautiful y'all it came out exactly the way that i wanted it to if you made it this far i want to thank you so much for watching and if you have not already be sure to hit that subscribe button and also turn your post notification bell on so you won't miss when i upload but until next time you guys